Hey guys, what's going on? It is Castle the Perfect here once again bringing you another Wi-Fi battle. This time it's a post-narrated Wi-Fi battle and this guy uh, that I'm battling here is Drayden, aka I love games most, I think, on Twitter. Uh, his team, by the way, is very well balanced. I'd say that um, he's dredged. Like, there is really not that much to to say about his team. He's got that Kangaskhan, which is supposed to be banned, but apparently not everybody uh, plays by Smuggle Rules, which I'm totally okay with. The Charizard, which is gonna be his Mega Evolution. Apparently, the, no, wait, he's got a Kangaskhan, that's gonna be his Mega Evolution. Uh, he's got a Charizard, which I don't know why, and he's got a, a Scavalier, a Sylveon, you know, not much to tell about that. They are pretty much self explanatory in Dragology, which I'm not too familiar with because that Pokemon, I don't get to see it that often whenever I'm battling. Uh, but, anyways, we'll definitely find out what this game is all about and what Drayden is all about. Obviously, I'm gonna be starting with a Heatran, which I, it's possibly the first time that I've ever used a Heatran in the sixth generation on my channel. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and start off the battle using Stealth Rocks as he goes for the Water Pulse, and I'm like, okay, um, it, isn't Dragalgi Dragal supposed to set up Toxic Spikes or something like that? I remember uh, something along those lines when I was, you know, you know, scrolling through my subscriptions. I saw somebody using one of these things, and uh, they, tr you know, they started setting up, and I was like, this guy is not really setting up. I'm just gonna go for the Willow Spear and uh, burning. Absolutely, I don't even know why I did that, but um, I did it, and then uh, it rang a bell in my head, and I was like, okay, I am supposed to switch out now because he's dealing super effective damage to me. I don't have uh, Earth Power, so I cannot hit it for the uh, super effective damage. So really, <laughs> all I can do at this point is just go ahead and switch out. So that's exactly what I do at this point, and I'm gonna bring out Slowbro, uh, simply because uh, Slowbro uh, resists the uh, water type attacks, like that water pose is really not gonna do that much damage. It uh, realistically doesn't do anything, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. He still burned though, which residual damage is always good, but still, it wasn't really like the smartest of the of the moves that I could have pulled at that moment, but um, hey, sometimes we make mistakes, we're all humans, right? So he's gonna get burn, he's gonna get a little bit of burn damage, then he's gonna proceed to go for the Thunderbolt, and I was like, what the hell is going on here? Um, is this a, some sort of Assault Fest, uh, Dracology, something like that? I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but this guy is going totally offensive against me, and I did not anticipate the Thunderbolts. I was like, eh, I am in a world of trouble right now, I'd better switch out, because another Thunderbolt will definitely take me down on the next upcoming turn. So I do in fact switch out here and go out into my Scallypede, uh, which is going to be the shiny Scallypede. This is one beautiful shiny though. Uh, it's really unfortunate that I Pokegen this one, so the, the shiny folly really falls down to zero, so it's it's like, yeah, it's beautiful, but still it doesn't feel like I am supposed to be happy about it. So anyways, it's gonna go for the Shadow Ball uh, to deal some super effective damage, again, the Thunderbolt would have been super effective as well, uh, but it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna retaliate with an Earthquake, deal super effective damage, and take down the Dragology, which is absolutely fantastic. This thing did so much damage to my team, it's unbelievable. But it's all fine and dandy right now, because I'm gonna get that speed boost going on, and this is absolutely perfect. Now, he's gonna bring out his Scavalier, and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm not staying in, you know, because Scavalier can sponge a lot of hits, and it can deal some heavy damage. So I thought he would go for, like, a Bug-type attack, and I decided to switch out into my Heatran, but he does predict my switch and goes for the Drill Run, and that is, ground, that's, that is a ground-type attack, so it's gonna be four times super effective against the Heatran, and that is going to take me down. A perfect, perfect example of a very good prediction right there. Well done, Drayden. Well done, dude. So I'm gonna bring out my um, Fictini over here, and I'm gonna scare him out because, of course, I'm gonna go for that Fikri 8. There is not much for me to lose other than just going for the Fikri 8. Of course, he once again predicts the Fikri 8 and goes out into the Charizard, uh, but because of the Stealth Rocks, he's gonna do 50% damage off before I actually get to attack. Then I'm just gonna proceed to go for the Fikri 8, and it doesn't even kill. It, it, I, I must have had minimum damage right there because the Charizard lift uh, with like 1 HP or something like that, but. Um, I'm going to switch out here into Scallypid because, quite frankly, I am slower than Cherry Sir because, you know, Fikri lowers my speed. So I decided to just go ahead and switch out. So I'm just gonna go for the te uh, Aqua Tail here on the Charizard after sponging a Shadow Claw, and apparently this is a physical Charizard, and something is telling me that he is running uh, two Mega Stones on his team, uh, being Charizard and. Um, you know, Kangaskhan, but apparently a Kangaskhan was the better Mega Evolution in this battle, so that's why he decided to use Mega Kangaskhan. 
uh, rather than Mega Charizard. So, anyways, I take down the uh, Charizard as it brings out the uh, Scavalier, and there is really not much else that I can do with Scallypede, so I decided to just leave it in, uh, let it die to the Life Orb Recoil, and, you know, just go for a Super Power and do as much damage as I can before I go down. So he decided to go for the knockoff, apparently predicting a switch, or even if I didn't switch out, he would have killed me anyway. So I'm gonna bring out Pikachu, because Pikachu is a freaking boss, and I'm gonna go for a Fake Out right there, just to deal uh, minimum damage right there, just a little bit of damage so I can pretty much secure the full tackle with kill, so that is, that is exactly what I go for, so down goes the Escavalier, and things are looking very good for me at this point. Now, it's gonna send out his Reuniclus, and this is something, ladies and gents, that I did not anticipate. I went for the knockoff here, but who the hell would have thought that a knockoff would have done so much damage? Oh my god, so much, that did so much that I'm, I'm still impressed by the amount of damage. And even him, he did not anticipate that to do that much damage. In fact, I don't think people predict a knockoff Pikachu. So, I, <laughs> I bring him down to like 1 HP and then I proceed to take him down with the full tackle. Uh, he was able to put up the uh, Reflect, which is, you know, pretty unfortunate because the Kangaskhan is gonna come in and uh, we all know how dangerous Kangaskhans uh, can be. So I'm just gonna switch out here because I'm gonna need that fake out for later. Uh, as much as I'd love to stay in and go for the full tackle, I thought that he would go for like um, a sucker punch, most likely after the Mega Evolution, but it doesn't do that. In fact, it goes for the Bulldoze, which is super effective against Electro type uh, Pokemon, just like Pikachu. Uh, but um, I decided to bring out my Slowbro here and take it. My speed is gonna be lowered, and of course, because of the uh, Parental Bond ability of Mega Kangaskhan, he's gonna be able to hit me twice. That is going to do quite a lot of damage for a move that is really not all that powerful. Now he's gonna go for the Shadow Claw here. And it's quite funny because I haven't like seen two Pokemon of the same team use running Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw in its entire entity is not a move that is used quite often, so uh, it was very good to see that happen there. Uh, so he's gonna go for the Shadow Claw, still not gonna be able to kill me, uh, even after hitting me two times. So I'm just gonna paralyze this thing to make sure that my Pikachu will outspeed at some point and uh, he doesn't get to outspeed anything else on my team. So he's gonna go for the Bulldoze here, uh, most likely predicting the switch or something like that, I don't know. Uh, but um, he still doesn't kill me because, you know, Slobro is a monster and uh, its defense stats are sky high and he's able to, you know, sponge that attack and I'm able to go for that slack off, which is absolutely fantastic. It's gonna bring me back to, I'd say, 80% uh, HP, so which is perfect. Now I'm gonna switch out uh, as he's gonna switch out as well. We're gonna both switch out on the same turn, which is quite funny. Now I was gonna bring out his Sylveon. Which is, it's totally fine by me, it's gonna be the Sylveon, you know, I'm gonna bring out uh, my Raticate, which is, <laughs> you guys all know exactly how powerful this Raticate is. Uh, it is that Guts combination with Flame Orb and that Facade, dude, it takes down the Sylveon in one blow. Absolute power, that is the freaking definition of what a powerful facade is supposed to look like. Like seriously, it just took down the Sylphium without any problem. And we are we all know that Sylphium is uh, one of those sturdy Pokemon, even though it's actually best at it, uh, only its special defense, but you know, its physical defense is really not all that bad. Uh, but anyways, I'm just gonna go for the Protect here on the Kangaskhan, simply because I thought he would go for the Sucker Punch. I just wanted to make sure that he, he is running that attack, but apparently he goes for the Power Up Punch. It doesn't look like he's running it, so I'm just gonna go for the Facade and take down the Mega Kangaskhan, and that is going to be the game, ladies and gents. Thank you very much for watching. Like always, follow me on Twitter there if you want to challenge me you can you know tweet me and uh, ask for a battle and then I'll just reply as fast as I possibly can other than that guys remember to share the love and uh, click the like button down below because it really tremendously helps out uh, the, the channel and um, everything else around it so that was pretty much it for this battle thank you very much once again and I'll talk to you guys later adios